Right. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. This is the Traders Exclusive Live Trader Showcase for March 2024. I'm Sherry. You can reach me um, by email at support at tradersexclusive.com. Uh, this is a quarterly event where we feature expert traders to bring you training and insights from 20 different expert traders. You register once and you get you can join all three days. You don't have to register every day. So please check out tradersexclusive.com where we regularly post articles and video clips with valuable trading tips and techniques. You should carefully consider whether trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances, knowledge, and financial resources. You may lose all or more of your initial investment. Opinions, market data, and recommendations are subject to change at any time. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. So I wanna thank you all for being with us again. And I want to concentrate today on what I call the one thing. It's a concept that limits losses. And I think uh, uh, I'm, I'm not sure it's going to be new to many people, but it's going to be a re-emphasis for some. And I'm going to show you some of the techniques that I use to limit losses so that if you, if you limit your losses, um, you, know, you know, you can maintain what I call that positive expectation. And those that know me from uh, the last couple of few decades of, of helping traders online, uh, you know that I'm a, a stickler on the mental and emotional capabilities of traders and developing that, because that's really usually the issue. So let's get going. I'm gonna kind of put it all in one uh, presentation here, and I hope you enjoy it and benefit from it. Uh, we're gonna be covering who am I, uh, the what I call the one thing, uh, and uh, and then I'm going to take you into the current prop trading landscape. Uh, their money, your profit, I call. In fact, I'm I'm in the midst of uh, finalizing a book that's uh, supposed to be coming out in May uh, called Their Money, Your Profit, uh, cashing in on the prop trading revolution. So that book is coming up. Uh, and I'm, uh, you know, I, I really have decided that I want to be central uh, in the whole idea of prop trading for serious traders, those that want to make long-term income. So I'm going to show you a little bit about that today, but I want to get it, really get into the one thing. But before I do, who am I? I graduated from the University of Cincinnati with a mathematics degree. I actually started out as an engineer and uh, I'll admit it, I had some trouble with, with mechanics. Uh, it took me two, uh, two, two semesters to pass it and I thought to myself, and I didn't even pass it with flying colors. Uh, I got barely got a C and I thought, let's add up all my credits, get out the door. Cause I love the math, but you know, somehow some of the uh, integral parts weren't, or uh, when they got to uh, imaginary numbers, I, I, I started to lose them. The imaginary number theory, imagine that. Anyway, the, uh, uh, but while I was working, I went to the University of Cincinnati because they had a work study program where you work one quarter and then you, uh, and then you go to, then you, you work one quarter, you go to school one quarter, work one quarter. It took, it's a five year degree. Uh, that's what it took me. And then it kind of paid for itself as you went along. And one of the things I did, of course, when I was a waiter, uh, which was really good cash at the time at a place called, uh, the prime and wine, which, um, if you're in Cincinnati, you probably remember this restaurant burned down about 10 or 15 years ago, but, uh, it was a salad bar restaurant. And what I learned from that was that uh, the more uh, money is kind of made in, in, in the business, not from the food, but from the alcohol. So I moved over to um, the nightclub business and I took a job. Actually, they bought me out really from Prime and Wine. And uh, it was a, they, were, they were running new clubs called Park Avenue, which was supposed to be um, Studio 54 competition, never really reached that level. We did charge $1,000 uh, a membership. And this was in the uh, this, this was in the late 70s and early 80s. So uh, it was a disco. We had the dancing men and women. We had the uh, they had the lit up dance floor. It was all it was all it was a lot of fun. But the problem with that business is that um, you can't stand it very long. I, I was running them. I was hiring everybody. Um, 
spending the first couple of months at the club and then moving on to another club to open that one. Uh, it was a lot of work uh, and I was underpaid, I felt. I mean, they felt the perks were good enough and it was fun, but I decided, what can I do? Hey, I got a math degree. My brother was into uh, gold at the time with a guy named Harry Brown. I said, let me go sell gold. So I jumped in my car, I went west to San Francisco and my first trading experience was in a, um, where they were just selling options over the phone. And the third week, second or third week I went into work, here's what I saw, an empty place with a plant. And everybody had left, they cleared out the desks and the place was a scam operation that I was, I, I had no idea, it seemed very real to me. Uh, I actually made a sale and, and um, I called the person actually from my home and apologized to him. He actually did get his money back. But, but uh, I took that plant and I put it in the back of my car as payment. So that was my first experience. But then I got, I said, hey, I really like the idea. So I decided to join what was then a very a growing uh, option firm in the, um, uh, in the San Francisco area. And within about uh, 18 months, I was running the main office um, and help and, and monitoring uh, brokers and traders like this who were responsible for doing well for traders, uh, for their customers. And um, it was amazing what I learned here. What I learned was that the simple trading plans, the simple ones are the, one, are the ones that, uh, that, that, that perform the best. I would take a, a, a ill performer into my office and I'd, I'd, I'd take a look at their trading plan. I would take their red, I would take that red pencil and I would start just, why do you need a, an RSI when you got a MACD? Why do you need a, so on and so forth? And uh, in, in, in any event, this was a very inspiring job. I learned a lot about what works and what doesn't as far as trading and trading plans is concerned. So much so I started writing books on it. I became the go-to guy for in the, in institutional traders to help them with their trading plans. I've written several books. This one is still around um, at, at um, in uh, Amazon, I believe. And there have been books written about me and my, I tend to be very animated. And when I go over to, when, when they have me at the trading expos, they always have me first. Hey, and I'm first here today. I'm here to wake everybody up to the opportunity that trading really is. If you can just get it together, if you can just get serious about it. So let's move into the presentation proper. That was a lot about me. And let's talk now about you. First of all, I want to talk about, just mention the importance of, of putting in stops. There are, you know, I've heard so much over the years about mental stops. Well, I, I know you gotta, you, you gotta put in a stop. Those who have no stops um, and they believe that, you know, it's all or nothing in a stop um, it is really what also what I want to challenge. You need to put your stop in. Um, and when you put your stop in, there is, a feeling that when you put in a stop, you're either going to have a successful trade to whatever degree, or you're going to get hit on the stop. And so it, the, the stop amount, the stopping loss amount that you've defined by putting in the stop is becomes kind of an all or nothing paradigm in your head. And, and that's not the way you should look at it. When you put in a stop, you should, you should, be telling yourself that that's the maximum amount of loss that I will take and that it is within my parameters of whatever it is, half a percent, one percent, two percent, however aggressive trader that you believe that you are best suited to be and can handle mentally and emotionally, know that when you put in a stop, you're really putting in a stop um, that is the maximum amount. And that brings me to what I call the one thing. And it solves the difficulty of taking partial losses. Um, I'm going to show you some ways to not allow that stop that you put in to be an all or nothing construct because that's what most traders that I have reviewed over the years have, um, have considered stop. In other words, let's put in the stop, let's let the market work on it. it it's, a, it's a derivative of I don't wanna be wrong when when a market is not going your way, but not poorly enough to hit your stop, uh, just because you set a stop, it doesn't mean that you have to stay in the trade if the trade is not developing, okay? Psychologically, you wrongly accept a full loss. 
So this, this is the concept of the one thing. The one thing is that when you put in a stop, that is your maximum loss, but not the loss that you expect to take. What you're expecting to do is to win. And as the market moves away from your trigger, then uh, it, it has that that trigger has less effect on the current market as you move away. And therefore, you need to start you need to start to shore up that risk and not just sit there and say, well, you know, I'm willing to take this. Well, let's see what happens. That is the that is the mantra of the failing trader. You always want to be proactive when you trade. So the further you move away from your entry trigger, the less influence that trigger has on the price and the more you should be looking to exit and preserve equity. And I'm going to show you a couple of examples of that. Okay. Um, and I, uh, the number is six. Six is the, and when I say the number is six, it used to be five. It can be five for some, some that I train on this uh, through our loaded gun, um, simple trading plan. We talk about this. Uh, some of you like to use five. I like to use five or six, depending on the market. Let me show you what I mean by that. Uh, this is a random chart. Um, this is, I usually trade with a five minute uh, candle chart when I trade. But when I talk about processes, uh, it can be used on any time frame okay and and it doesn't necessarily have to be futures where i play uh it can be also uh stocks and so on uh, prop trading is primarily the futures market right now and i've actually had to help train uh some or uh, traders to uh to learn about the simplicity of the futures market always loved it in any event here is an example of the one thing now this formation right here these two candles right here is one of the triggers that we use in our loaded gun simple trading plan. But uh, even a great trigger is only right usually two thirds of the time. If you can find a trading plan where your trigger can give you profit based on the rest of the trading plan two thirds of the time, you want to grab that. And that, that's what loaded gun is about. But it'll have, uh, but this, this lecture is about talking about those that don't work. It's easy to talk about the, the great trades and that's all you ever see. I want to concentrate on the stuff that doesn't work, okay, so that you can minimize your loss. Okay, so here is a trading, here is a signal that would be a buy signal. This right here is the eight bar exponential moving average. I love this moving average. Uh, we use it a lot and it's, um, it used to be called the golden mean, but uh, markets tend to ride below or above uh, this uh, moving average when it gets to be consistent, um, when you get markets that are ready to travel a consistent direction. Um, I don't have time to show you how to identify that now, but let's just look at this example of, of this long trade. We want to be long here, but the market never developed. Uh, the market started to go sideways. Now, when I, when I go long, when I see this candle and I wait for its close, to close above the eight bar exponential moving average. I go long uh, the, the, and I always wait for the close. You'll be surprised what can happen the last few seconds of a bar's life. So wait for the close and then I go in at the market at, at, the, at, the, at the moment the next bar opens as, as soon as I see the first tick. Anyway, so I've got my hand on the mouse doing that. Well, market did, doesn't is not working out here and we're not staying on the north side of the eight, which starts to concern me. I put my stop underneath this formation, this two candle formation, whichever is the lower of the two. I put it down here in this particular case. And I'm, so that's my absolute stop that I'm looking to, to, to take. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, again, there's where I put my stop. And then here is the sixth candle right here. W when I get to this point, I, I now assess what's going on. I won't take this trade past the close of the sixth candle. Um, and, and because again, the further you move from your entry trigger, no matter how good you think it is, the less effect it has on the current market. So in this particular case, not only am I not getting what I want from, from the trigger, but I'm also now six candles away and underneath what I consider a moving average that in the long trade I'd like to be above. So I'm out here. I'm out at this candle. Now, to tell you the truth, sometimes I get out right at the beginning of the sixth candle. Sometimes I wait till the very end. 
Um, but but that you know that that the nuance is, is is up to you. There are other things that I do, and I'm going to show you what that that is right now. Um, there are many traders who um, that I coach that depending on their person, you see, you have personality issues. <laughs> we all have personality issues. In other words, we all have a particular personality. Some of us are aggressive. I tend to like to be in the market. I like a trigger that gives me frequent, reliable uh, entry signals. Um, there are some that are much more cautious. My my accountant, for instance, waits for, you know, I don't know how he can do it, but he waits for four or five hurdles to jump before he gets in a trade. And many days he doesn't even have a trade. I can't trade like that. I'm here really for the action in a positive way. I, I know there's opportunities and I want to be in, in a, in a a responsible tested way so what I'm doing what I do here is um, after the sixth candle if I want if you are the person that wants to stay in okay then what you want to do is put is is identify this as sideways movement and put a stop in below the low of the of the lowest candle uh, including the wick in this case that is within that sideways time frame. So in this, I'd probably shore it up even a little bit more. Um, I would be right underneath this lowest candle. And when the market continued on, if I wanted to still sit there and root when waste time, uh, you know, sometimes it'll come back. Uh, but most of the time when you're in this situation, again, you shouldn't be in it because we're too far from the trigger. The market will take you out here. And even with this poss possibility, you're saving at least this distance. And, and you may scoff at a few ticks, four or five ticks, whatever this is. But you'd be surprised how this adds up. If you're if you're sitting here waiting for that, the, the original the, the original stop to be hit and you've constructed, you've made that construct in your mind that, that it's all going to be all or nothing. Uh, you're going to get hit here. If if you're if you understand what I'm talking about as far as moving away from the trigger, um, you either want to get out. I like getting out here because uh, there isn't much of a loss here. I'm good with that. Let's go on to the next trade, which actually would be right here, of which I would have had my scalp part of my my system right here. So I, I'm constantly looking at different ways to preserve my capital. So again, um, you can get out at the six candle or at the six candle, you can draw that line and hope to stay in. Either way, you're shoring up to, to whatever degree what you believed was the absolute loss that, that was the absolute loss, but you don't have to take it as, as you're getting closer or further from your, um, from your trigger. Here's another similar trigger. It's not a strong trigger, but it is a similar uh, setup to this. It's barely a trigger and won't, don't need to go into why. Um, but um, again, my stop would be going under here. I'd be waiting for that six candle, which is right here. And again, uh, you know, the market is really not going where I want to. And in this particular case, uh, I may put my stop under here uh, because we're still above the the the, um, the eight bar exponential moving average. So I'm thinking maybe we're good. But you know, uh, there are. There are times, depending on like the end of the day, if I got a nice profit, why give anything away right here? I would get out right here with a short gain, nice short gain, instead of waiting for something that didn't develop from the beginning and, and comes down and hurts you and takes you out here instead of taking a small profit here. So I like the number six. That's really what I, wanna, uh, I, want, I, want, I want to uh, emphasize here, that number six. Again, you could put that, um, you can put that, um, uh, let's stop in here, another responsible place to put it, uh, and you would be out at a, at a break even. The other thing I wanted to show you, are you digging this? Let me, uh, uh, let me, just, let me just consult the, uh, the chat a little bit or the, um, I don't see, yeah, are we getting, uh, can you tell me if, we, uh, if I'm getting a lot of, boy, that's great, Normans. Uh, <laughs> I want to show you some more, but I want to know that you're with me. Can you give me uh, some? Okay, great. All right, good. Okay. Um, if you're too far from the moving average, again, I like this eight bar exponential moving average. Um, this is another thing we use. It's another discussion. But here is the eight bar exponential moving average. Again, you can see that we have that trigger that I talked about and one of the triggers that we use. And, um, and you can see what happens here as the market continues to move higher. Uh, very nice. You see how it's nicely staying over that eight. But it, when it moves, when you have a market that jumps like this, when you see a big bar like this, 
that could either be um, a, a, an exhaustion bar or, an, or, or something that's going to lead to something grand. You got to be careful here because the further you move away from the average, the more you'll get that eventual snapback. Marcus will, I shouldn't say always, 95% of the time when you start getting too far from the, I mean, here it is again down here to some degree, you came all the way down here and the market snaps back. So you want to recognize the fact that you, you don't want to, you know, when this candle happens, you start thinking this is it. This is the dream trade. What it is, is could be the dream nightmare if you if you're not, if, if you don't understand what's going on. The market will generally snap back, especially if you're a day trader like I am, um, and you're not looking to hold this uh, for the long term. You want to take this nice profit without giving it back in any dramatic form, because sometimes a candle like this can le lead to an equal or more dramatic candle of exhaustion. Uh, so you want to deal with reality, not not a dream. And when you see something like when you when you when you see yourself separating from the moving average that you use, you could be moving the eight, the ten, the four. A lot of people use different ones. Again, I like the eight. And once you start moving away from that moving average. And you have, especially if, you, if you're if you familiar with an engulfing pattern like this, 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 these are not big bodies, but they are occurring in a place where you believe there's going to be a reversal. Uh, I would be taking my profit up here. Now, a, a lot, you know, this is not, um, uh, you know, as opposed to allowing a profit to, uh, to dissipate. So um, I, I want to bring that up because I, I just think that this whole idea of a dream trade, uh, now, if you had multiple positions, if you had three positions on here, three contracts, and you're and you're dying to stay in, take two out here, and leave one for what I call lewd and lascivious. But don't err on the on the side of uh, uh, of what you know is is working against you. Look, trading is all about keeping the odds with you. When you have when you're away from the eight bar, when you're away from your moving average, and you're and you have a reversal pattern. You're only staying in because you because you want more. Uh, because whatever it is, you're staying in for the wrong reasons. You're not trading like a mechanical trader and realizing and, and not taking a look at what's in front of you and and making the best of that. So uh, that that was there. I would be out of this trade. I also want to, as a sidebar, I kind of threw this in. There's a couple of things I threw in this presentation before I because I, I wanted to make sure that that I didn't forget some of the things that have been important to me while I'm while I'm prop trading. In prop trading, it's very important um, to uh, to to gather profit and not let it come back, not, not let it um, not let it dissipate. Uh, it's more important than in normal trading. And there are several reasons for that. One is because if you're going to trade somebody else's money, they don't want you losing that money so that the parameters are tight. So um, you've got to employ some scalping, which I can show you in a later video, which I never did. But now it's it it really it greases the the way toward getting money wired into your account, which I'm going to show you what happens there. But the idea is that in, I like to trail. Is this a sidebar? When you get a movement like this, I just wanted to mention this because I saw this today. When you get a movement like this, um, you you want to a lot of people use a uh, a trailing stop of the low of the previous bar. I want to say I want to just emphasize that you're much better off with two bars, the low of the of two bars below. In other words, as the market starts to develop, when you get to about here, you're saying, "Well, I've just taken out this previous high. Um, we could have a run here, but but I I also know that um, th that it could very well mostly." things don't run and, and you, you do come back. So I want to defend the profit that I, the nice profit that I have. So what you want to do is put a stop in the low of two candles below. So if we're here live right here, you want one, two candles, the low would be here. When this candle is spent and we have this candle, then you're, you we would have the same low here because it happens to be the same low of the previous two candles. When we're in this line, we, we're, we're, we're in here live, we're moving our stop up to here as these are the previous two candles and this would be the low. And you'd be moving it all the way up and all the way up and so on. But you can see that if, if we had one candle below, you would have been stopped out here 
uh, you would have been stopped out here if you if you did it too early. You would have certainly been stopped out here of one candle too low. So I, I believe that um, you know if you can stay above the eight and you can uh, and and you're and you're moving and, you, and you're using your stop two candles uh, before the current live candle, you're going to be able to preserve a lot more without giving a lot back if you happen to get stopped out. Okay, just wanted to bring that to you because I I, I bumped into two people yesterday that I was uh, talking to online uh, with coaching and, and somehow they were trailing with one. And when I showed them this, uh, they saw the big difference when I showed them some live charts. Uh, this is today's NQ. I wanted to kind of show you uh, that I wasn't just cherry picking charts. This came. This is actually today. So it was about an hour or two ago, an hour ago. Um, so he, look, he, here's a nice signal right here. That's similar signal to what I talked about, uh, and where you where you've got a nice movement. Um, and uh, here is a nice. Here's a candle where once it breaks out, um, you're, you're looking at one candle below. So one candle below, you would have been at here. Right. So uh, but but two candles below, you would have had it here. You would have had it under here, uh, under here. So you, you would have you would have been out right here, two candles below. So you would have made a little bit more money. I'm just saying this this really works for you. So when you have an uptrend like this, look to preserve w without stifling the move as, as best as you can. OK, um, I, I also want to bring up this extension. We talked about moving too far from the moving average. I mean, you can see that we're not we're hugging. The, these are the best runs that you can have when you're hugging your moving average. Well, now you're, you've broken the moving average. You've come back down. But look what happened. Intraday, this thing pulled way away from the moving average. You should have, as, as a responsible trader, you should have um, anticipated a, an issue of resistance here uh, with the previous high. And when you started coming down like this, um, certainly right here, most likely, or crossing the other ways of doing it. But the idea is that you should be looking for exit as the market fails to preserve this 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 high right here. You could have gotten out right in here because two things are happening: you're failing the high, and you're and you're um, and and you're you're way way away from. Uh, the moving average. I just wanted to show you, it's, it's not a cherry pick thing. You'll see this all the time. I just wanted to make sure that you you had a live view. This is, uh, uh, and we've, uh, and Loaded Gun is just doing fabulously uh, all of last week and this week with, uh, here's another short signal here that did really well. In any event, in today's environment, I, I hope you enjoyed that. I want to get into the beauty of, 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 um, of, of the whole prop trading idea where uh, the best approach I think to risk management is trading someone else's money and being paid 90% of the profit. Now in my career, I have been a commodity trading advisor. I've been a CTA. And when I was a CTA, I was managing millions of dollars for uh, clients of, they were called qualified clients. Um, and I think you had to have an, a liquid net worth of 250,000 or more. And I was trading several million dollars. It varied as, as they put me on different, um, uh, I, I was with Payne Weber at the time, but I was only being paid 20% um, of the profit that I made, not 90% or 100% as, as the prop trading firms. Now, why, why, how can they pay you that amount of money? It's because they have fees that uh that they're they're asking and the fees are very very reasonable i'm going to show you what those fees are in case you're not already prop trading okay you you, you can also so so in today's environment the best approach of the risk management is trading somebody else's money and and still getting the vast majority of the profit and prop trading is what is left to uh and it's better than being a cta um i can tell you that right now just from the money that i've earned in this in in in, in my in my exercising prop trading now as opposed to what i made even working for a big firm so it's 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 a dream come true for traders who believe that they they are good traders okay um so l let me give you an idea of um prop trading firms are, are going to fund you for fifty thousand a hundred thousand even up to three hundred thousand dollars these are I i've already passed 10 of these i have 10 open accounts with them you can have as many as 20 and uh with a firm called apex which is the firm that i've decided is best for me and therefore i believe it is best for you top step is another good company i did pass with them uh their qualifications for a hundred thousand dollar account Right now in, in in Apex, I've got 
uh, $350,000 accounts and, uh, and $750,000 accounts. Now, it's not important for this lecture to talk about why I have so many accounts and why when you trade long term uh, and look at this as a career or, or a side business, then uh, you, you want to have multiple accounts. And I'll, I'll discuss that at some other time. But for this particular exercise, I always ask traders to start out with one $50,000 account because this is the quickest way to pass, evaluate, take the evaluation. There's an evaluation step. You pass the evaluation step and then you get funded. OK, uh, and you and, and then you, from the funding, that's where you make money and and request your your uh, your profit. And you can request it twice a month on, on, on your profitable account. So um, but the idea is that to make this all real, because it really wasn't even real for me, I say, how can they be giving me hundreds of thousands of dollars to trade and and and. And, and I'm giving me 90% or 100% of the first 25,000. Well, again, it's the fees, I'm, and I'm going to show you that. But I wanted to know that it was real. So I started with a $50,000 account, and I I passed the evaluation, and I, I I created profit in the funded account. And I requested, this is the first request I made. That's why I bring it up right here. And this is what they send you uh, when you request this, you know, congratulations for requesting money. This is almost a year ago. In May of last year was the first that I had, I requested a thousand dollars in profit. I show you this because I, you know, I was in the restaurant business. We used to, we used to tack our first dollar on the wall next to the cash register. So I have this. I printed it out and I have it next to my computer here. It's my my first payout from, and I called the bank. I said, "Is this real? Can I spend this thousand dollars?" Yeah, it's your money. It's but so it all became real. And then I I put the foot down. I put the pedal to the metal, as you probably will too. But but don't get excited about the larger accounts. You, you can have them, and they're. In fact, I think the best math is the hundred and fifty thousand dollar account. I think that's the best math of all. Um, but uh, but start at the fifty because that's the quickest way. You only have to make three thousand dollars to get funded. So fifty to fifty three thousand, without losing twenty five hundred from your trading high, open account trading high. Um, so for simplicity, make three thousand before you lose twenty five hundred from your trading high, and uh, and then you're funded, and and then you do the same thing. And when you the more money you make, the less that twenty five hundred dollar follows you. Don't worry about that. It becomes a non-event when you start trading your uh, their money for real profit. I, I did a study of prop firms. Uh, I mentioned I've already mentioned to you Apex and uh, and and. Um, Top step. They, they they were the two winners out of this. I did this. Had somebody do this study for me. If you'd like a copy of this study, email me at admin at the discipline trader dot com. Uh, just email admin. They'll forward it to me. Just put in the subject line. You know, send me the prop firm study or whatever, and I'll send you the study so that you can read it. Admin at the discipline trader dot com. But just to zoom in on the winner, Apex. Apex just passed a hundred million dollars in payouts. That's a, that's a lot of money. And, you know, they've been paying out um, over 10 million a month recently in the last few months. So one of the criteria that I use in comparing them, I wanted not only a, a, a firm that was here a long time because they're all popping up. A lot of people are popping. A lot of regular trading firms are popping up with with the extensions of their firms as prop traders because uh, they know most traders fail. And so they'll just be collecting fees where people are living a dream. But the dream is real. And, and the, the key is to have a trading plan that is set up to take advantage of their rules. And that's what Loaded Gun is. I'm going to give you an offer for that at the end. So they, trade, they have traders from 150 different countries. Uh, they've, 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 out of that $100 million in payout, uh, they've paid $30 million of that in the last four months. So they're really growing. OK, uh, they just passed that in the last two years, 100 million dollars. So they were paying out a million, two million. But now now they're paying out over 10, uh, over 10 million a month. So just tremendous. It's ex the whole idea is exploding because of, of the fantastic dream that traders have. But that 10 percent. I want you to be in that 10%. I want to hold your hand and guide you through that. This right here is a blow up of one of those things on the chart. If you focus just on the $50,000, you'll see that they have a monthly, you have the monthly fee of $167 a month. They never charge this. They're always, char they're always either have a 10% a 
discount, an 80% discount, or 70% discount. Right now, they're discounting it 80%. So it's not $167 a month, it's $35 a month. And when they discount, this is their best deal at 90%. But don't worry about it, these are small numbers. These are very small numbers. If it takes you two months to make that $3,000, before you lose 2,500, if you don't trade every day. And, you know, it's very forgiving for that. They, they, but once you do that, you don't, you're only paying, if you, if you need more time, you're only paying $16, $35, $45 a month. It's very small compared to that first thousand dollars that you're gonna ask for. It's gonna wipe out all, all that you've paid before. It's very easy to overcome these evaluation fees um, before you, as you start. Okay. So don't worry about these small numbers. Again, the target is 3000 before you lose 2,500 from your open trading high, not your closed trading high, but your open trading high. Another uh, discussion, but don't worry about the details right now. That's pretty much it. I mentioned the 150, uh, because in this particular case, you've got to make uh, $9,000 before you lose 5,000. But I like the, I like the depth of the 5,000 gives you a little bit more room on the downside. So if you literally, just let me say, if you trade the 50, if you trade the 150, like you would be trading the 50, the same, um, the, the, the same number of contracts, um, then you're, you know, you, you trade conservatively and you don't have to worry about, um, a depression of 5,000. Anyway, there's a lot of things I can teach you along the way. I just, my job is to hold your hand and to grease your way through getting money into your account finally. Okay. But I wanted to show you this. This is, I wanted to give you this link. If you're currently trading with Apex or you're considering anything that I'm talking about now, write this link down. This is the disciplinetrader.com forward slash Apex. Okay. And I've I've talked to them that I'll be talking that they came up number one on my survey. So, so I, but I want to I just wanted to make sure that um, that, that my people got the best um, rates. And so whatever their advertised rates, sometimes they even do better. And this link will always drive you to their best rate. Okay, so I wanted to give you that. All right, so l let me let me show you what I have for passing the prop trading evaluation. It's called the loaded gun simple trading plan. And it start, it, it has the core loaded trading plan, which is it just, it's a print that you print it out. It's on one sheet of paper and the video is not even an hour and a half long that trains you through the entire course. Then it's yours to, uh, to back test it so that you get comfortable with it. Okay. It's a very simple trading plan. The charts that I showed you before are taken from, you can see how simple things are. Um, people either you most use it straight out because it's simple and very effective. Some use some of the techniques that I've shown professional traders over the years to into their own trading plan. But whatever it is, you're going to get the loaded gun core simple trading plan with all the rules fits on one sheet of paper. And then the nuances. I talked to you about the nuance of when a market moves and you get to that sixth bar. You can, you know, if, if you're if you want to stay in the trade, there's there's a nuance that you can do without being irresponsible about the about the risk. And again, I'm I'm all I'm always about you know, shoring up that risk, shoring up that risk. Where am I now? Not where was I, where am I now? And all the, so I give you all the nuances that, that are, that are, that customize the trading plan to who you are, as opposed to asking you to, to, to change what's between your head to fit a trading plan. That's where most people, I want you to do both to tell you the truth. But if you're not training your mind, at least allow the structural part of your trading plan to fit who you are. And that's who the new one, nobody does this because, because nobody has the concern or the, or, or the recognition or, or the really the skill that we have as far as guiding traders through the mental and emotional hurdles that happen. Cause that's where the problem is with most traders. So we solve that to a large degree by these nuances to adjust the trading plan to who you are. And then we have monthly get togethers. We have one coming up a week from today, every last Wednesday of the month, we all meet, get together. We talk about our experiences, we, I, any updates that I have, I always seem to have some, we share our experiences. If you're not there live, you can get the recordings. Okay. So that is, um, that is the the discipline trader mastery program in its totality this is what this is what will get you funded but there's a lot more the first thing i want to do is give you unlimited one-on-one -on -one coaching with me for 90 days 
Okay. Um, as soon as you invest in a loaded gun simple trading plan, you're going to get an email with a calendar link where you'll be able to schedule a personalized one on one walkthrough with me. And I'll proceed to learn more about your trading background, who you are, and advise you how to get a quick start with your new purchase. I'll show you some of the nuances that may work for you. I'll show you something that that may not even be in the program that I know from my experience that could help you. Uh, as you perfect the running of the plan, I'm going to be there if you need me with as many of these one-on-one -on -one sessions as you need to pass your evaluation. And the truth is, most have one or two with me. It's not a, it's a simple training plan, but it, but there are some strict rules that that you need to follow. Uh, and so, uh, one or two. Uh, meaning, some like more than that, and that's okay with me. Um, listen, I am here to make sure that you get qualified and get funded. And then when you get funded, I'm here until the market, until they wire money into your account. I want to be there the whole way. I want to be there every step of the way. So if this prop trading sounds good for good to you, and you've been struggling with it, uh, take this opportunity. Work with me on it, okay? And I, I also want to say that. If you're, you know, if you've got things planned, this is the time spring is happening, a lot of vacations going on. Don't worry about the 90 day clock. In other words, if you were to purchase my offer today, um, this 90 day clock starts at our first meeting. So go ahead and purchase. Look at the videos, look at the nuances, back test it, get the feel, understand why it's working so well for people. And then, um, and, and then when you're ready to go through any questions or demonstrate to me that and you don't have to, but a lot of people, I say to them, show me what you know about them. Or would you rather have me lecture you? It's up to you how you want to do this, but I want to know that you understand it. I don't want to throw you in there without understanding what, what works and why it works. Okay. But that 90 day clock is going to start when you start. So look at all the videos, do all your back testing, and then schedule your nine, your first 90 day with me. That's when the 90 day clock will start. So don't, because you're going on vacation next week, uh, don't stop that, you from, from grabbing what I'm going to uh, offer you right now. So the, the magic of one-on-one -on -one coaching, uh, you have personalized attention. Um, I, and I love people. You know, I always have been. Listen, I won biggest flirt in high school because I love people. Uh, <laughs> uh, listen, um, my wife said, would you stop talking to that guy in the car next to you? Listen, I, I'm, I'm here to help. Okay. You get immediate feedback, no waiting for answers when it's one-on-one -on -one. and you can, you can rest assured that there is confidentiality between you and I, and that's where the magic of, you can admit your faults. You can admit, I, I, I'll admit my faults first. If you'd like me to, I got a laundry list of them, but I've corrected them and I can show you how to do that. Tailored learning style. Again, who are you? What, you know, I'll ask you a few leading questions and I'm going to figure out if you're a person with patience, without patience, if you're a person that likes to be in the market, likes to, you know, likes to be sure before they get, you like the higher probability trades or you're willing to take the A and A minus trades and then sh you use your shoring up abilities. Who are you and what's best for you? I will help you to customize this trading plan for yourself. Flexible, flexibility of scheduling. You choose the time. I show you my calendar. You pick it. Depth of exploration. But the most important thing is the accountability. It's hard to come to me and say, you know, um, you know, show, you know, that you did something and I could tell that you didn't. Okay. I want you to listen. And I'm not going to, we'll laugh, we'll laugh if that happens, but I'm going to get a little serious with you. Trading is a serious thing. Once you get it down, then it's a fun thing because the serious part becomes now you're not doubting yourself. You're not doubting your ability to win. You're, you have that positive expectation all the time. Accountability, very big. Okay. So um, just this week, Mike, actually it's two weeks ago because this presentation, when I wrote the slide, it was a week ago. I passed the Apex $100,000 valuation in four days with a loaded gun, mostly scalping, but a few runners brought it back home. And again, it's a combination of taking some low hanging fruit and letting it rhyme. We do both of those things. I still have a few trading days left to finish, but I made $6,000 in four days this week. Great trading plan. Thanks so much, Mike was a struggling part-time trader. He's on a roll and he continues to be on a roll. Sandra, a terrific trader, a little bit newer to the business, but she mentioned, uh, she wrote this to Tish and I, my wife, who's the mental and emotional queen of our 
uh, of our makeup here. I'm making progress now. I really credit your guidance and your voice in my head. Now I have three funded accounts with Apex, requested my first small payout for two of the accounts. Again, she's trading, trading multiple accounts. I'm gonna show you how to do that. In two of those, she, she requested $500. She requested $1,000 total. The minimum that you can request is $500. So again, on a roll, once that happens, you can step on the pedal and really do some serious m money making. It can be, it's true, it, ha it happens. And this is from Ken. Uh, this, is, this is not typical, but it happens more than you'd think. Please share with your wife that since funding my first Apex $50,000 account last Thursday and five more two days later, this Tuesday, on those 10 funded accounts, $21,025 in real money, all in the NASDAQ, and working on five more to get funded. So he's working on 50, having 15. God has richly blessed me. Look, that's a big number, but I think, you know, he's a more aggressive guy. Um, I'm trying to kind of slow him down, to tell you the truth, because, you know, if, if you get too aggressive, that can bite you. But he's a talented guy. He has what it takes. And so I'm very, very proud of him here. Um, and I just wanted to show you that this was purchased actually, uh, this was from a year ago, uh, Christmas. And this Thursday was, uh, this was on a Saturday. By the following Thursday, uh, he already had learned the system and started taking action and, and was profitable with it already. You can see how simple the chart is. Actually, those horizontal lines are something he did. All right, here's the bonus, a second bonus. I want to set it all up for you. A done for your setup of your, of your data feed and trading platform. Apex and Top Step have a more advanced setup that it can be confusing to some tech challenge traders. I know I it took me 10 days to set it up. Yeah, if you're not new to Ninja, if you're new to Ninja Trader, which they want you to have if you can, uh, it's an easy program to, um, I was on TradeStation for 25 years, 30 years. I, I, I like Ninja Trader now. It took me about half a day to learn how to do everything. So uh, I'm gonna connect you with my genius who will jump into your computer and it's gonna set everything up for you because you have to set up your, your Ninja Trader if you don't have it, and then you have to have your download. You have to have your, with the, with the, the, the data, the data feed, so, uh, and, you, and you gotta connect it to. He'll do all of that for you. So once you, once you open your account with Apex or Top Step and you, and you open your account, uh, then tell me I'm ready for, for Brady is his name and Brady will come in and set it all up for you. All you got to do is start trading. I wanted to take that, that, that headache out, out for you because I said, what else can I do? This is what I can do. And here's Roger. It's $150 uh, um, uh, that we offer this for, but I'm including it here as a bonus. And, but Roger said, all in all, I, it really went well. Brady has obviously skilled his cursor darted back and forth without explanation. I ended up feeling like I had gotten a bargain, um, and that's Roger. So it's it's really pleasant. In fact, Brady knows a lot about Ninja Trader, and so he can he can answer any questions even if you're new to Ninja Trader. You'll have an hour with him. So and he'll do this in 15 minutes. So I'm paying him for an hour for you. So I wanted you to know that all you got to do is trade. Okay. Um, so the entire loaded fund offer, loaded gun simple trading plan. Uh, you get the nuances that fit the trading plan to you or you to the trading plan, the monthly get togethers, the bonuses, unlimited one on one coaching and the hands on setup where I set it, have Brady set it up for you. And I want to give you my guarantee. I am so confident that you're following the loaded gun simple trading plan will result in you getting funded by your prop firm so that you risk their money and not yours and still receive 90% of the profit you generate. Just share your trading experience with me that you followed the simple rules and it didn't work for you and I will refund your purchase plus 500 for your trouble. This is an ironclad guarantee. I don't want you to, there's a, so that there's an umbrella of safety. Let's work together to get you funded. I, I wanna show you one other thing. And this is, if you were to, this is how quickly you can have money in your account. If you if you purchased my offer today and you purchased the loaded gun simple trading plan and it took you say two weeks to uh, I'll give you I'll give you two weeks to work on it and to and to go through it to have your first meeting with me and so on. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, give you and really it's only going to take you a week. So in this setup, I was a little bit more realistic and it's only going to take you a week. You're going to be chomping at the bit when you see the, the, the trading plan and, and when you back test and see how well it works. And then I want you to set up your prop trading account. I'll call Brady, send him to you, and he'll set this all up for you, okay? Then 
then for two weeks, I'm going to let you trade for two weeks to make that $3,000 on your $50,000 account. And here is where you're going to pass your evaluation after two weeks. And you're going to get funded here and you're going to start trading and earning money right here. Okay. So, uh, and I'm figuring uh, I'm going to give you another two weeks to make $3,000 plus uh, in order to start asking for uh, for your payout, your your profit. And what happens is that after these two weeks of trading for your, your own, uh, their money and, and looking for uh, to be paid with the profit that you make, uh, there's a, uh, it, it's a five day profit request period from the first to the fifth of every month. And from the 15th to the 20th of every month, Apex will allow you to just request what you want. So you're going to trade for two weeks and then uh, somewhere in this span between the first and the fifth, you're going to request your profit, part of it, all of it, whatever it is, request your profit. And by the 10th, that is payday, April 10th, you're going to collect your profit. So here we are on the, on the 20th of March. I've given you plenty of time to, to what you can, you can, you know, I've, I've seen this many times collapse into literally three weeks, but I'm giving you, this is a six week Pro, is it six weeks when it's two weeks here? About six weeks to payday. And I'm giving you a lot of time to make this happen for you where you're not rushed, rushed and pushed. So this can happen very quickly. I want to make sure I show you what the time space looked for look like. So here's my offer to you. The Loaded Gun Simple Trading Plan. We It's offered right now at a reasonable $24.97. Again, and we offer the one-on-one -on -one there. Uh, so, you know, when you're dealing with me one-on-one, -on -one, that's you know, you're dealing, that's, you know, that can be an expensive thing. I know it, it, it can be, especially for uh, the institutional firms that I work with, but but they can afford it. Um, I'm giving you the second bonus of done for you setup and so on. It's a total value easily of 52.47, but we offer it right now on our site for 24.97. I'm cutting that in half. For you, it's 12.47 for you and I to work together and get you, first of all, pick the evaluation, get your evaluation club set up, then move to the uh, funded phase and then collect for the money in your account. Go to theirmoneyyourprofit.com and use the coupon code PASSNOW. OK, I'm going to, to be I'm going to be on that page when we're done here uh, for about an hour. If you have any questions, because we don't have any time for that right now. Um, I'm trying to keep on schedule here for this event. Use pass to, use the pass now um, coupon code and use their money yourprofit.com. And uh, there's a, when you get to you, their money yourprofit.com, there's a little button on the lower right where it's a it's a uh, uh, I'm going to turn that on a, a chat button where you and I can chat if you have any questions. Um, I, I want to work together. Nobody else offers this to you. I want you to be accountable to me to get this done. I want to get serious with you about this and get funded. It is a dream come true if you can if you if you can be a disciplined trader and you can have a trading plan that fits what we're talking about here. And, and I've got one for you in this, and it's I've shown you the proof. Uh, there's a limit of six traders right now for this. Uh, I could probably take on one or two more, but right now. Uh, you know, we're, we're getting people who graduate. When I when I say graduate, I mean it's money in your account. And and, and yes, uh, some of them still have time on the 90 days. And but generally, you don't have to meet with me if you just have a quick question. Shoot me an email, and I shoot it right back to you. I'll even make you a video on it. So any way that I can communicate with you, I'm going to do this. So a limit of six traders. Uh, if if it's beyond what I can, I think it's set at seven or eight. Uh, if 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 that's exhausted, you'll get you'll, you'll be asked to be put on a waiting list. And please do that because I do follow up on that waiting list first for the next spots that are available. And there are some coming up next month. So please uh, take advantage of this. I'd love to work with you and, and get it done. And there it is, noon Eastern time. I think I've done it all there. <laughs> you did awesome, sir. And uh, you have a couple of questions here if you want to hear okay, them. Shoot. Well, shoot. I have a question and we have a statement. Um, if your trading approaches are consistently profitable, why take the time and effort to consult, advise others? When trading futures, are you consistently profitable? If not, why not? Okay, so you're a negative, you're not a negative person, but you're always looking for, <laughs> I love that question. Yes, yeah. I'm trading, I, I, yes, I'm trading, I'm making money, 
but that's it's not it's never been about me. I mean, if you know me or followed my career, you know I'm making money. I was making my money with my own money. Now I'm learning how to do it with prop trading over the over now the a good year and a half so that I can train others. Listen, that's an excellent question because I'm a senior citizen and I won't be doing this for very long because it's been very very uh, profitable for me uh, in prop trading. And the truth is. Um, I'm, I have these limits because I don't want to spend all my time. Uh, I mean, I enjoy it. Like, like I say, I'm a people person. And, and as you get older, I think you realize the importance of giving. So if you can handle that, that I'm, I, I yeah. want to be giving, and that's why I do it, uh, then I think you got the, the, the crux of my answer. But, but on the yeah, other part, I, um, I love trading. Norman. You What's know that? what, too? Also, why take the time and effort to consult and advise others? I mean, if there is one industry where there are thrilling highs and devastating lows, it's got to be trading. And to see people having those devastating lows is really, really hard. And so that that really develops in a person the need to help others know what they're doing. Absolutely, it helps yeah. the need. And it's also one other thing, multiple streams of income. Uh, I have multiple streams of income. Uh, I will make money yeah. from this, from this $1,247. Not a lot, but I will make some to keep the, it's very expensive now to be online with a business. Yeah. I am just, as you know, um, and I'm just, you know, the idea is that I've got income from my trading. I've got income from my business. I've got income from my real estate. I do a lot of different things. So I appreciate the question, but I think you want to spend a little bit more time possibly on, um, on, on positive expectations for yourself. Uh, listen, really? most who ask a question like that, and I appreciate, I really do appreciate that, uh, have been burned or have been, um, you know, but listen, you've got a guarantee if, if you don't get funded, uh, if, if we're not, if you follow the simple trading plan and don't get funded, you're getting your money back. So there's no risk here. Next and, question. And I, wanted, I wanted to tell you the next one. Uh, the next one is from Ken K, and this is positive. Uh, this morning, I did four scalps in NQ, realized net 245 times eight props or $1,960 net. Thanks, Norman. <laughs> oh, well, Ken's a good client and I appreciate him. Uh, you know, and, you know, he was the guy that I taught. I, I believe that's the same Ken. There's several Kens that I work with, but but I think this is the same Ken that, that I try to slow down. Um, he's a very, very good trader. And I think if I have issue myself it's that i don't go strong enough when i could i'm very conservative when i do that um so but i, I appreciate that ken i appreciate the vote of confidence and your testimonial well thank you so much for being with us